there. Come on in out of that cold Charlotte fall weather that we're experiencing. No, it's not, uh, it's not cold enough to have a fire, but uh, I thought this would be a good spot to go over your inspection report. So come on in and let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. It was great to see you folks out at the house today. What a beautiful house. Great location, too. Let's start on the inside. So we're just, today we're just looking at the wood burner. Uh, beautiful fireplace. My understanding, it's had only one fire in it, and uh, it looks like it. It's in beautiful condition. Uh, working damper, but my, my uh, suggestion here is to just leave the damper in the open position all the time. There's no reason to close it. Dampers are energy efficient uh, uh, devices and uh, they're just meant to keep the heat or air conditioning uh, inside the space that it's uh, located but in your particular case it's a screen porch so that's not necessary let's uh, stroll up here flu system looks great but you'd expect that from chimney that has, hasn't been used but one time uh, there was a little question about how close this was to the nearest thing within 10 feet uh, it's within seven feet of this wall here, but this is this part of the chimney, so it doesn't count. What actually counts is the dormer, and that dormer is actually 11 feet. So this was a good question that was asked of me today. Um, I look at these things, I guess because I've been doing this for so long, and I look at five, sometimes six or seven a day, that it's just instinctual that I would just mark this off as okay because I can kind of tell. Plus, uh, I run into uh, situations where there are a little closer, maybe nine feet or eight feet, and doesn't affect the draft. But the code reads specifically, and this is out of the codes here, it reads that it needs to be um, two feet above anything that's within 10 feet, and this dormer's 11, uh, 11 feet away, so it's perfectly okay. Shouldn't affect the draft at all. We're looking down at it. It's got a chimney cap on both this and the inside fireplace. So our, uh, our outdoor fireplace is capped. There's a lot of cracks in the concrete crown up here. My recommendation here is to re-pour that. The reason for that is, as pointed out uh, by uh, the buyer and the buyer's um, uh, inspector, whole house inspector, that the lentil is rusting away. And... Uh, eventually will have to be replaced. So the, the best way to stop that is to keep the water out. The chimney caps are keeping the water from directly coming down the chimney, but the cracks in the crown uh, need to be repaired or it's gonna continue. We re-pour these crowns when they get like this. So uh, I've given you a price on doing it. You think about it. If I can help out, just give me a call. We'll get you on the calendar and get it re-poured for you. If you folks have questions for me of any kind, just give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at uh, chris at affordablesweep.com.